this is for uh, Rayman. He, this is a request for Rayman. He wanted to just get the basics of uh, ninjutsu. So we're going to give you an, a quick summary overrun of some of the basics of uh, ninjutsu, of our particular style, which is the we, we're under the Koga Ryu. Uh, I just want to say for the some of the YouTube watchers, I know there are people out there who claim that their style is the only style and Koga doesn't exist. Don't believe the hype. That's bogus. But nonetheless, let's show you how our particular form of ninjutsu does it. By the way, we are under Sensei, uh, under Sensei Duncan. My Sensei is uh, Shihan Kareem, who is a direct student of Sensei Duncan. So this is uh, a reflection of them, my teachers. All right. Um, okay, I'm okay. So the first thing for Rayman, and this is of course Rayman and others, you can use this as well. The first concept you have to understand is that ninjutsu is, it, it means the way of stealth, or, you know, in, in common terms is, is, is translated as the way of stealth. So I believe that uh, in the application of that, not only is it the way of stealth as far as, you know, what we see or heard about in movies or spying, espionage, things like that, but I believe that even in combat or self-defense, that same idea, I mean, the way of stealth, should be applied in your application. So if you notice some other fighting styles, a lot of times it's face-to-face. Uh, -face. Both guys are throwing punches back and forth, kicking, and they're always staying in each other's line of fire. Well, ninjutsu is not about that. Ninjutsu, they didn't have time to be sitting there and throwing punch for punch, kick for kick, and who, you know, work, uh, hoping to get the lucky knockout. Ninjutsu was, they, they had to be quick, they had to get in and out, they had to exchange the skills. So they had the, their movements and their style was based on the in and out quick. Okay, so we don't want to stay in the line of fire. So what I'm going to do for Rayman and others who are interested in the beginnings is just give you a quick overrun of some of our movements, which we call Tai Sabaki, which is to evade, evasion moves, just getting out the way. You don't want to stay in the line of fire of your opponent. So I'll give you the basics, okay? Our, our basics, your first ones will just be stepping out. comes from the right. I want to step out to the, uh, from his right, attack it to my left. I'll step out to my right, and the reverse on the other side. So just a quick example, if he was to throw a, uh, a left hook, excuse me, a right hook, right? right? I want to step away, right? I don't want to stay in the line of fire if he punches. I mean, you could do that, you know, but it crowds me. I want to get distance, right? So I move away, okay? And he throws it from the other side, right? I want to move away. See, I'm moving away. And notice I'm moving away, my hand is up. You know, so I'm moving, and if the other hand comes, let's say if he did throw two, right? So here, boom, see, I moved out, this, this punch was shortened, see, he, he didn't have enough chance to swing it all the way out. So he got the first one, I moved away, blocked, as the second one come, that punch was stagnated, you see? I blocked here, and he told the other one, my hand was up, that punch was stagnated, okay? So again, slowly, he throws the hook, you want to move away, see, just stepping out, just stepping away, okay? Just step out to your right. Step out to your left. There is forward and back also, but right now you wanted the basics, so we we'll keep it basic. So again, he throws the right hook. I'm stepping out. Okay. Throws the left. Get it away. I want to step away. I don't want to stand in the line of fire. He can work with a straight punch too. Let's say he throws a straight right. Again, see? I step out. I'm out of his line of fire. Notice now on this one, I'm, he's at a disadvantaged position now. Okay. I stepped out and I wound up behind him. From here, he's mine. Right. He's here, I can come him, I can kill him from behind, like so, I moved out, quickly shock him to the groin, whatever, see? And he throws from the left, right? Here, step away, block. Away. What I prefer, if you can help it, is getting out to his outside, where he's at a disadvantage. See, I move out here, he's at a disadvantage. Now, he'll have to, if he wants to come and get me, he's either going to have to turn around from this way, or he'll have to turn. And I'll show you, if he turns from the back, say he's he saw I move, and he wants to turn around and catch me from here. I'll move, and I got him there, right? So he realizes, again, he threw that straight punch, right? I move, he sees he wants to try to come around this way, I'll just shadow him and stay behind him, and got him at disadvantage, all right? If he decides to, instead of coming around, he wants to come with the other stuff. So again, he goes straight punch, I move. Now he wants to come this way. So I'll pivot out this way, see? I'll move out from this one, okay? So again, he throws that punch here. I move, and then he tries to hook around that way. I'll still catch him. Boom. Okay? I'm right, sorry. Okay. So again, slowly. Again, I move here, right? He tries to come around the other way. I can move 
you know, whatever. Always stay in the shadows. Okay, so those are your basics there. Now I'll take you to the next part of it, which is the uh, some of the striking concepts. All right, I'll use thank you. I'll use it a little bit. Okay, so again, now, now that you got your evasion, your basics, stepping away, stepping away from the point of attack. Now, once you get that, you need to have a uh, the person. Very important. And again, other arts or other styles, they want to stay here, punch you, kick it, bam, pop, pop, you know, both guys. I'm not saying it doesn't work. Again, yeah, sure, it works. You can catch a guy with a good one. But again, the ninjutsu is not about the fight. We're not about standing there and throwing punches, blocking, both guys going at it, you know? We're about in and out. I don't want to fight. I want to be in and out. Okay? Uh, think, just take like this. Let's take back in feudal Japan. Uh, a ninja's on a mission. He's spying or whatever. He gets spotted by a guard, one guard, okay? And the guard engages him. You think he was going to sit there and him and that guard fight with swords and hands? Now why? Because it's all of a sudden all the other guards are going to come and now he's surrounded. So he had to be, his moves had to be evasive. His moves had to be stealthy. You see? So instead of sitting in him and that one guard fight, no, he's gonna, that one guard's gonna make his move, he's gonna get in quick, pop, 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 take that guard out, and keep going. So again, take that same idea, that same ideology, and apply it in your self-defense. Don't look for a fight. You wanna be in and out quick. The attacker makes his attack, you respond quickly, and you keep going. You don't wanna sit there and see, you know, get back up and see who's the tougher guy. No, evade, strike, block, and you go, okay? So we take that now, so in order to apply that, you need important strikes to stun a person. A lot of times people say, oh, that's not going to work because you grab an arm. If I shock you right, it will work, okay? If you, if you get shock a person, certain areas will stun people, okay? Think about the ninjas, what they did. They threw stuff in people's eyes, right? Through rocks, through dirt. They threw the shurikens, the, uh, the stars and things like that, right? Or some other type of object they would throw to slow you down. You see, we don't play fair. Ninjas didn't play fair. You see, they, they, they had an unconventional method of combat. You see? They didn't play fair. Whatever it took. If I got to kick you in your groin, so what? I know a lot of they're, they're wondering about that. Oh, kicking in the groin. Hey, well, if that's what it takes for me to even up the odds against a, a better skilled opponent or a bigger, muscular, stronger person, then that's what I got to do. So you guys, if you, those who are thinking, oh, that's not fair, you need to change your way of thinking. Because on the streets, what's fair on the streets, right? Survival is the key. So we take that there. So with that concept of the shock, all right, so let's say, uh, again, we'll add evasion, and then we'll throw in some type of shock move. The shock move is what rattles the brain, is what short circuits the messages from the brain to the rest of the body. See, at first, he's confident. The attacker, he's confident. He, obviously, since he's making the first move, he's exhibiting his confidence in his ability to do something to you. Circuit the brain. You need to rattle his head, stun him, so that way the message of further attacks is short-circuited, giving you an open to do your, make your next move and your escape, okay? So with that concept, what we did, um, with that, let's go with that hook, all right? So he throws that right hook, all right? I'm stepping out, all right? I'm stepping out and quickly popping him to his eye. Pop to his eye. What man? I don't care how strong you are. What man? If you bounce back for a second, I got you stunned. I popped you, bam, right to your eye. For a second or two or whatever, that's going to stun you. Now, the motion is our form. We like to do a lot of wind techniques, wind motions. Okay? So, again, throw that hook, block, bam, quickly to the eye right there. Most people react. What's your first reaction? Something gets in your eye. Imagine soap, right? You get soap in your eye, sand, dust, or I quickly pop you in your eye. What's your reaction? Most people, he'll punch it. And then his first reaction is like he's dead. Even if he realizes just for a second and he gets back into the fight, that few, one, two, three, four, whatever. Of his reaction, that's my open. I'm not going to sit there and say, oh, okay, now he's, he's sitting there with his eye. No, I'm going to keep moving. So I, it'll be like so, right here. Behind him now. From here, I got whatever I want. I can come up with a knee, elbow, take him down, drop him. See? He's mine. Finish him from hand, stomp, whatever. Drawing. When he falls, when, I, I'm always a step ahead, too. When he falls, I'm not.